Well, this is Pastor Hayton again with Lower Life's Devotional. I just want to share a little bit with you today about something that's very important, and I hope that you'll hear us out. We were living down in Alabama, pastoring the church there in Cuba, and uh, we were doing some kind of a little project over at the church. I don't remember exactly what it was, but Brother R. E. True Love, he was a fine craftsman. He put a board on a on the saw horses and picked up his scale saw, his circular saw, to saw the board. And as he was sawing the board, he cut the cord in two. The cord just kind of got in the way, and he didn't notice, and it whacked her right in two. Well, my son Chuck, and if you know Chuck, he's such a sweet-spirited, soft-spoken lad, and he was probably eight or ten years old at the time, and he stood there, and he kind of looked for a moment, and what came out of his mouth was that uh, spoken by a child. That wasn't a very smart thing to do, Brother R.E. Well, I think Brother R.E. knew that wasn't a very smart thing to do, but from the mouth of babes, we learn a lot, don't we? And I've thought about that down across the years, that little old blonde-headed kid saying that wasn't a very smart thing to do, Brother R.E. And I've thought about a lot of the dumb things that we do as Christians today. I know that I could uh, probably spend the rest of my days talking about the dumb things that I have done in my life and things that I have observed in the lives of other Christians that really weren't too smart. But what I'm thinking of today, one thing that really hit me is that it's not very smart to neglect our time with God. I believe that every Christian, in order to uh, mature and in order to uh, grow, draw close to God and to become all that God wants him to be, needs a quiet time with God every day. Now this is one of those places where I have to learn to practice what I preach, but I believe it's very important that we have our quiet time every day. I have to admire my dear wife. She gets up and the first thing she does is head for her chair and uh, you don't talk to her. She doesn't let anything interrupt her quiet time with God, her Bible reading and her prayer time. Well, I'm not that way. Sometimes I get on up into the day and I realize, hey, I better slow down here and take some time with God. And I know that uh, there have been a lot of times in my life that I haven't felt as close to the Lord as I should have felt. There have been a lot of times in my life when Satan has been able to defeat me. There have been a lot of times when I've gotten up to preach and I just felt like, you know, I'm wishing that I would have spent more time with God this week because I might have more of him with me as I face the awesome responsibility of addressing the congregation with the gospel message. But you know, it, it's important whether we're a minister or not, or whether we're a minister's wife, it's important for everybody to have their quiet time with God. That time that you commune with God, you speak to him and allow him to speak to you. You allow him to speak to you through his word and through the Holy Spirit. And I'm just going to tell you that it's not a very smart thing to do to neglect our devotional time, whether we call it our devotions or a quiet time, time with God, whatever. It's not very smart to neglect that. So I was thinking about it's not very smart to neglect our time with God. I thought of a poem that I ran across years ago. Perhaps you're familiar with it, but it goes like this. I met God in the morning when my day was at its best, and his presence came like glory, a sunrise in my breast. All day long his presence lingered, all day long he stayed with me, and we sailed in perfect calmness o'er a very troubled sea. Other ships were blown and battered, other ships were sore distressed, but the winds that seemed to drive them brought to us such peace and rest. Then I thought of other mornings with a keen remorse of mine, when I too had loosed the moorings with the Savior left behind. So I think I know the secret learned from many a troubled way. You must seek God in the morning if you want him in the day. So it's not a very smart thing to do to neglect your devotion, Christian friend. Uh, make it a priority. Heavenly Father, help us each one to realize that Truly, it isn't a very smart thing to do if we neglect our time with God. It's so important. May we make it a priority. Bless us throughout this day and on down throughout the future journey of our life. 
We pray and we ask it in Christ's lovely name. Amen. Well, we'll plan on seeing you tomorrow on Saturday on the Lower Lights Devotional. Goodbye.